Hello Blender users and welcome to this demo of the Sound Waveform Display add-on. So first of all, let's talk about the setup because this add-on needs FFmpeg to run. Here in the preference you have uh, notes about that. You can directly check if FFmpeg is in your path, meaning it's accessible through console uh, by tapping FFmpeg in a terminal. And if it's uh, already in the path, like here, you don't have anything to do. You can automatically download and install inside your add-on folder and it will be enabled uh, right away uh, by clicking here. Here I don't need to, but if you want to download manually, you can click on this button and it will go on to the download page. Uh, once that's done, uh, you can either add it to your system path or just point to the FMPEG binary uh, using this field. Once we are set up, we can go inside the sidebar of the animation editors in the display tab and just click the on button if we have the right targets. You can adjust the height of the waveform with this slider here. So if you don't see anything, it might just be uh, that you need to push this um, slider a bit further. You can choose where you want to see the waveform. For example, here it's also activated in the timeline, but you can check and check this live. If I were to change the preferences or the sound targets, a refresh of the waveform will be needed. For example, here, uh, if I want to use the selected strips instead of the audible strips, I will change here to selected and click on the on button again. And here it changed accordingly. Now back to the audible strips, on again, and it's okay. You can also change the color. This is saved in the preferences. Here I click on the on button again and it's all right, so now that I am set up, I can just collapse the sequencer and just enjoy. Now, thank you for watching this demo. You can grab the add-on on my Gumroad, link in the description. And as usual, see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.